Hey guys, welcome to Stuffbox. It's showtime. In this video, you'll learn how to host a static website using Google Cloud Platform. And we'll do that by taking advantage of the free one-year offer that Google gives us. So here are the things I'll show you. Creating a bucket using Google Cloud Platform. We'll point that bucket to our domain. We'll create an SSL using Cloudflare's free account. Then we'll create some page rules so everything goes to one domain. Two things you will need. You need to have a Google Cloud Platform account. If you don't have one, I suggest you watch my video on how to create a Google Cloud Platform account. Here's the link to that. Second, you need to have your own website domain. You can buy it from any domain provider like GoDaddy, NetFirms, or even Google Domains. I personally use Google Domains because they offer free privacy protection compared to other domain provider that charges $10 per year. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I create videos specifically for Apple, Amazon, and Google. So if you use any of those applications, then this channel is for you. So first thing we want to do is log into our Google Cloud Console. From your homepage, click on the menu on the top left. Pick storage, and then browser. This is where we're going to create a bucket. So now, click create a bucket. Now we need a name for our bucket. The best name to put is your domain name, including the www. So in my case, my domain is www.caninternationaltravel.com. If your domain is in a different domain provider, you're going to need to verify your domain. We're just going to click continue so I can show you what will happen. Under choose where to store your data, there's region, dual region, and multi-region. It's best to pick multi-region if you want your website to be available nationally. Now since my website is just going to be local, I'm going to pick region. Now for location, you want to pick the one that's closest to you. So in my case, I'm in central, so I'm going to pick central. And now click continue. For default storage class, we have different options here. For websites, the best one to pick is standard. The rest are for file servers and file archiving. Now click continue. Now control access to objects. This is the permission. We have an option for fine grain and uniform. For our case, the best option is uniform since our website is very basic. Once you've set the permission on this, the permission will permanently take effect after 90 days. For advanced settings, this is optional, so we're gonna leave it the way it is, which is Google Manage Key. All the settings are good, so let's click Create. So you can see we have an error here saying that we need to verify the domain based on naming your bucket. So let's go back to name your bucket. Click the learn more link to verify a bucket. So this gives you all the information on how to verify a bucket, but you simply have to scroll all the way down and look for open search console. To start the verification, type your domain here. And then hit continue. The next step is adding this text record into your DNS record of your domain. From the drop down list here, pick your domain provider and it will give you an instruction on how to modify your DNS record. If you bought your domain with Google Domains, simply copy this value. Then I'll go to Google Domains, edit my DNS, and add a text record. Leave the name blank. Then select TXT on this dropdown. Then paste the value that you copied from the verification page. Now click Add. Every time you add or modify a DNS record, always have to expect that you will have to wait for the DNS to propagate. In this case, it says 48 hours, but most of the time, it might be about 15 to 30 minutes. Meanwhile, so we waited about a few minutes. We can go back to our Google Search Console and click Verify. Okay, great, my domain is now verified. 
there are times that it might fail the verification. And this is the error message. If you do, you just have to wait and re-verify. Now let's go back to our Google Cloud Platform, then press the Create button. Great, our bucket has been created. Now the next thing we need to do is upload our HTML files. We can drag the files here or click the Upload button. I'm going to use the Upload button. First, I'm going to upload the files, which is just my index.html. And then now, I'm going to upload all the folders. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Now that my files have been uploaded, let's go back to our storage browser. Click this three dots and then select Edit Website Configuration. Add your index file here as well as your 404 page if you have one. I don't have one so I'm just going to put my index HTML and then click Save. Now the next thing we need to do is make this public. Currently it says public access is not public. To do that, click Add Member. Under New Members, you want to put in All Users. And for Select Role, you want to click Cloud Storage and then Storage Object Viewer. Now click Save. It will give you a warning that this resource is going public. Just make sure that you only picked Storage Object Viewer. Now click Allow Public Access. Now the next thing we need to do is add a CNAME record on our domain provider. So let's go back to our Google Domains. Go to your DNS record settings. Under Custom Resource Record. Add www here. Put CNAME and put this value. Then click Add. We then need to wait another 48 hours, which might take again about 15 20 minutes. So it's now past 15 minutes. We can check our website. I open a new tab and type in our domain. So you can see now the website points to it. If you find this tutorial helpful so far, please click like to help me out. The next thing we need to do is add an SSL on this website. To do that, we're going to use Cloudflare's free service. So let's open another tab and go to cloudflare.com. Let's create an account by clicking sign up. Create your username and password. Since it doesn't give you a password confirmation box, make sure you click show so that you know what you're typing. Now click the create account button. Now let's add our website name here. We're going to put our domain name here without the www. Click add site after. Select the free plan and then confirm the plan. Now it's going to scan the DNS records that's in that domain. And this is what it found. It has all the C names that we put as well as the text record. Once all that's good, click continue. The next thing we need to do now is update our name server. We need to point our name server to Cloudflare so that Cloudflare can manage our DNS. To do that, we need to copy these two name servers, go back to our domain provider, go to your DNS settings, and change your name server and paste it here. Okay, now click Save. Just like the other DNS settings that we've changed, we also need to wait on this one for it to take effect. While we're waiting for that to take effect, we can continue setting up our Cloudflare account. Click Done Check Name Servers. On this page, we're going to choose the SSL that we need. Select Full if your website doesn't contain any sensitive information. 
and you also don't want to purchase a separate SSL. Scroll down, turn on always use HTTPS. And we also want to turn on auto minify, which compresses our HTML file. And for Broadly, we're going to leave that on because it speeds up our website. Now click done. We've now completed our setup. If you run into issues and have questions, please leave it in the comment below. I'm just going to check my SSL. Everything looks good. Now the next thing we need to do is add some page rules. We're going to forward specific web address to one specific address. I'll show you what I mean. Click create page rule. We're going to type in HTTP and then our domain. We're going to put a slash and asterisk. We're going to do forward URL, we're going to make sure it's permanent, and then for destination, we'll put HTTPS and then www.domainname.com and put a slash and a dollar sign one. Then click save and deploy. We're allowed to add another page rule according to this. Now let's click create again. This time we're going to forward HTTP www.ourdomain.com Put a slash and an asterisk. We're going to forward this as well. Select 301 and then we're going to do the same thing. HTTPS www.domain.com slash dollar sign one. Then click save and deploy. If you were able to create all that and had no issues, please click the like button if you haven't yet. Now let's go back to the overview page. And down here we can click recheck now to see if the name service has been set up. Or you can simply wait about half hour and test. A few moments later. So it's been about half hour now. We'll uh, open a new browser and test my website. I'll test the naked domain first and see if it forwards it. Great, that seems to be working. So now we'll test the www.caninternationaltravel.com. And this should automatically forward to the SSL website. Great, that seems to be working as well. If you want to create a WordPress website instead using Google Cloud Platform's free offer, here's a video for that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Leave a comment below if you have any questions.